In this video, we're going to start to look at the user accounts and user roles. You may remember from the data structure that we are going to have directors, project managers, and engineers. The first thing to consider with users is, do they need to log into your application? If someone doesn't need to log in and it's just a record in the system, they don't need to have a user account. So in our example here, we're not going to give access to engineers. Engineers will just be records in the system that project managers and directors can look at. The actual engineers themselves won't need to log in. So we will need accounts for directors and for project managers. We'll also need an admin account or a developer account who can see everything. So going back into NAC, just need to head over to the records section and here click on the link that says enable users. You can now add your user roles so I'm going to add admin, director, and project manager. So you can now see on the left hand side underneath the user roles, I have an accounts object and then my three user roles. Now it's worth noting that the accounts object is the top level and everybody has an account and they can have one or more user roles. And you'll notice that the actual user roles are indented and they all sit underneath accounts. So every user role belongs to an account. Now, before I start allocating directors and project managers, I'm just going to add an admin account for myself. So I can click on the admin role and I'm going to add a record. So I filled in all the fields and submit the record. And as you can see now, I have my name, email, password, my account status is active and my user role is set as an admin. It's also worth mentioning at this time that if you come over to the settings page and click on user logins, there's a whole section here related to security settings and how you can set up your different types of password and passwords expiry. I haven't checked any of these at the moment, so I can have a very simple password for testing, but I'd urge you to obviously have a minimum requirement for your passwords. So back over into the record section. So we now have one user in an admin role. And if I click on the accounts object, you'll see that we also have the same user in the accounts object. So this is actually two separate records. There is one record in the accounts and one records in the admin. And it is possible for me to come into the admin and delete someone from an admin role. So I now have no admin users, but I still have the initial account. So the account is the primary record. So you'll see on the account, I have no user roles. So I can come back into here and add that user role back in. And now if I click on admin, I also have a record in the admin user role. So for me to be able to put a logon or a login page onto our company's web app, I'm going to go over into pages. And this is a really simple thing to do. So we're at the top level here on companies, on our companies table. And I'm gonna to go to the settings on the page settings and say that we require a login. And it says the new parent page with a login view will be added. And how do we want people to access this? So we can give permission to all users. So that's anybody with an account. So it won't be an open page anymore, or we can limit permission to specific user roles. Now this particular list of all companies, I only want the admin users to be able to see all companies. So I'm just gonna limit it to the admin role. As you can see now on the tree structure on the left, I now have a new page added at the top, which has a little padlock on it. And this is securing all the pages that are underneath it. So if I collapse this down, you can see this is the company's login and underneath the login is now the company's page. And this is what the company's login page looks like. So to get to this page, you can go up to the live app, click on the drop down, and click on the companies. And this will now take me to the new login page. So add my credentials and click sign in. I'm now past the login page and securely logged into the application. You can see on the top right hand corner, I'm logged in as Carl Holmes. I can log out and I can also update my account settings. As you can see, setting up a secure login on NAC is really easy. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the directors and the project managers.